Today we're going to be going over the initial setup and commissioning of a Simicode Pro VPN from Siemens. So to do this commissioning of our Simicode, we're going to be using the TIA portal and we're going to be using Simicode Pro Premium Edition. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here in TIA portal once we open the project, we're going to hit add new device. When that pops up, you'll see we've got several different options of Simicode Pros that we can do. The device we have is a Simicode Pro VPN and there's our part number and you need to select your version number. I know we've got version 2.1, so we'll hit OK. Once that pops up, you'll see that the uh, device wizard has come up as well. And it's going to ask if you have a standard or a safety semicode. So we've got the standard style. And then you've got lots of different options you can pick from as far as to what to set this as. So this is a multi-purpose relay, motor management relay. So you can actually use it for things like an overload, a direct starter. Uh, you can use it with a soft starter. You can use it as a circuit breaker. There's there's so many different options that you have. You can get a lot of that kind of information out of the manual for the device to see some of the different descriptions for those options. We're going to select a reversing starter based off of the demo case that we have. So we'll hit that. And then I'm going to check this box down here that says start parameter wizard. We'll hit finish. So once we've hit finish, our parameter wizard is going to pop up and it's going to ask us a couple of different questions. So in this screen, we're going to be able to set the different types of application and it should carry over from the previous selection. But just to make sure we're going to make sure we have reversing starter selected, we'll hit next. And then here, this is where you're going to need to enter some of your overload protection information off of your motor. Uh, so you'll want to know kind of your different current. You can set the overload setting for your class. And you see you have here all the way from 5 to 40, as well as you can kind of go in and, and put in your level of your stalled rotor unbalanced protection. Once you've entered those values, go ahead and hit next. And then this screen is for your machine monitoring. So again, you're going to be entering in some different information as far as current for your limits. Uh, you know, if you want to set warning or alarm for if you entered a certain amount of hours on your motor as well as you can do ground fault with this unit once you've got those settings done you go ahead and hit finish so now you're going to click on device configuration and you'll see here we've got a layout of what our sim code looks like so here's where you're going to want to add in any extra modules that you might have so for instance i've got a different module here so i'm going to go ahead and click there and i'm going to click on the digital module and i know i've got this dm mono so i'm going to click that and drag that in there and then i also know i've got a different display so this it dropped in the older display type so i'm going to go in and change my operator panel to the newer one that's the one i have drag and drop that in and it's going to ask you to confirm that you want to change we'll hit ok so now this physical representation here within ti portal matches what i've got here on my demo case so now I can kind of go in and make any changes that I need to. Once I've gone in and made changes to my parameters, I can go ahead and do commissioning. So once I've got everything configured the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and go online with my module. So we're going to hit the go online button. And then you've got a couple of different options uh, depending on the software and the type of SIM code you have. For mine, I'm doing the USB connection, but you also have the option of doing the Profinet interface. So we're going to select this type of interface that we're using, whether it's Profinet, Teleservice, or peer-to-peer. -peer. I'm going to do the P2P, and then I'm going to hit Start Search. So there it's found it. I'm going to hit Go Online. So you'll now notice that I've got the orange bar here in TI Portal, which means I'm online, as well as this green check over here on the left-hand side. So now if I were to go into my Simicode and look at some of the items, you'll see here it actually shows me what I have connected to my device as far as the actual units. I can go in here and check my inputs and outputs, make sure that I have them wired correctly for push buttons and other things. Uh, you'll see here I've got an output wired off my digital module. And then I can actually go in here as well and set any faults or warnings that I want on my device or see any that I have currently. Uh, you also see here I've got a general device OK uh, off right now. So if I were to hit a button on my demo stand, start my motor spinning, you'll see now I've got a current flowing. I'm on, I'm active. Uh, if I hit the other way, you see I've got an interlock active. And then I'm now going again with the current flowing on and start active. While my Sigma code is running, you know, not only can I get my information off of the operator panel on my demo unit, but I can also see it here in my measured values. So if I were to ch make some changes here with some of my demo buttons and knobs that I've got, I can actually measure my values right here within TI portal, which is kind of nice. One last thing I can do, I can go over to the commissioning of my device and I can click on this motor control and control station. So in here, I've got kind of a truth table. And I can go in here and set whether I can use hardwired push buttons or the actual buttons on my control module. 
my HMI device to see, you know, what takes command of the device and what takes higher priority. So by going in and changing some of these, I can make those changes so I can make it, you know, a local or remote or remote only or local only. So I can actually go in here with my outputs and make some changes into that digital module. So I can click this ellipses here and I can actually make some changes, you know, whether it's on or off, things like that, some standard defined ones. And when I select whether I've got, you know, my starter or my overload relay, soft starter, reversing starter, some of those standard functions, it sets a lot of those here. And, you know, with these options, I can make some small changes to it, make some tweaks, make it fit my needs. With that, that's going to be it for going over the Simicode Pro.